transfers quite easily with a lot of different sports. You know, it's got footwork of football, it's got uh, handwork, and, and some of the IQ of hockey. Um, all sports basketball, it's a real cutoff of basketball, so I think it's an easy sport for kids. It, it's another level of lacrosse. A lot of, a lot of the kids, they play box lacrosse, and when they come play field lacrosse, it's on a soccer field. It gives them a lot more room, and so the, the kids find it's a lot more passing and catching. Yes, it's running because you're on a soccer field, but they find a lot more room, and their, their stick skills and their talents, because it is a different game, they really increase them and, and are able to play a lot better. Trying to increase the lacrosse uh, awareness. Uh, we're starting a varsity program, which is for the high school kids and stuff to play Calgary and Okotoks. We've got right now. We've asked Edmonton to come out and uh, try and play as well. And we're trying to get these teams together so we can uh, play. Plus, we've got a bunch of the adults that want to play as well. Uh, again, we're losing the senior team with the box lacrosse, the field lacrosse, a little less physical. Guys can come out, and play a couple weekends and stuff, and things things go a lot better. Uh, well, being able to go over and play with Scotland is definitely something else. Um, all the guys were uh, amazing and the experience is just, you can't put into words how amazing the experience is. Just uh, being able to go over to England and play with Scotland and um, the team brought a lot of experience and I actually learned a lot of things with Scotland and uh, great experience. I mean, there are pro leagues, um, you know, in the U.S. and in Canada. Um, so there's an opportunity there. I, the biggest opportunity is the chance to really further your education. So I think that that's a great opportunity for these guys. Oh, it is. The, the, the number of players here that can play, we've had a number of players that have gone to American uh, colleges to play on uh, scholarships and stuff. Now they come home and they're able to play here as well when they're done their schooling. And uh, it, it's great to see these talented players still in Red Deer. I mean, some of these kids are going to some pretty high-end schools on some, some fantastic uh, opportunities ahead of them. You know, we've got some kids on this team that are going to Cornell University, you know, Lehigh University. We've got some kids that have come through this program that have gone to Yale and Georgetown. So it's a great opportunity for these kids to, to get an, uh, you know, an opportunity to look at some schools. I mean, to get a Cornell education, not really a bad thing you can, you, you know, if you come up with that. So I think the level is getting higher and higher and I think kids just need to get more educated on the process and what their opportunities are. In the, in the minor leagues, it's definitely uh, just exploding, so hopefully in a couple of years the pro leagues and everything will take off and um, maybe be able to have a couple of careers for the guys that are actual, actually able to make a career out of this. So. Is that what you hope to? Absolutely, yeah. Hope to make it out and play some senior A soon and uh, out in BC and hopefully make pro. I think it's a great sport and I think uh, you know, it teaches kids a lot about discipline and about working hard and I think it's great that way.